ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tech Geek webinar series, our endeavor to impart techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight to various domains. The topic of today's session is getting familiar with Agile and Scrum, including sizing and Agile. Our guest speaker today is Mr. Ankush Sabarwal, Project Manager, Mrs. Ankush is having around a decade of IT experience in various roles like software engineer, tech lead, project management, development delivery manager, scrum master, and agile coach. He has experience in service as well as product based companies and worked in various countries. He is passionate about agile software development and has got experience of successfully implementing various agile projects in distributed teams across varied verticals. He has implemented various multi-million dollar projects simultaneously with the peak team size of 50 plus people. Coming to his academics, he has got masters in software engineering from Bits Filani along with MBA from ICPI and executive management program from IM Calcutta. He has acquired various industry certifications in his credit like CSM, PMI, ACP, Agile, ITIL, V3, etc. In hobbies, apart from researching Agile, he also likes to play, to play golf. So without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker. Over to you, Ankush. Thank you very much, Mohini. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session. My name is Ankush. I'm here today to brief you all on Agile, focusing on Scrum and XP practices. We'll also see how to create good user stories and size them. And we'll touch upon some of the metrics that are used in Agile. So let's get started. Okay, focus. What is the focus of Agile? Delivering the highest business value in the shortest time. Yeah, this is the key. So in contrast to implementing bunch of requirements in six months, one year, and even more. So here Agile says, Identify the high value items and deliver in shorter cycles, shorter iterations, also called as sprints. So this is the key in Agile. And yes, collaboration. So we need to foster collaboration in the team. Yeah? So like one plus one would have to deliver more than their individual productivity. So one plus one, I always say one plus one is greater than or equal to three. Yeah? And we have to empower teams to self-organize and self-enable themselves. So team has to take their decisions. We have to enable them, trust them, so that they take decisions for themselves. Trust, yes. Organization has to trust team and what works well. And of course, managers managers are required, scrum masters are required to remove the impediments. But yes, ultimately it's a team decision which will help team to move forward. Constant feedback. So here, Agile believes in getting constant feedback from the customers instead of, as I said, instead of doing the project for say one year or even more and delivering in the end, it is better to deliver in smaller iterations, maybe from one week to four weeks and get constant and frequent feedback from the customers. If at all we have to fail, we should fail early, yeah, early feedback. So instead of failing after one year, of the completion of the project, of our completion of the long duration project. So better to fail early so that we amend our course. Transparency. We need to have open and transparent communication with all the stakeholders. Build quality in. So this concept has come from me. So we have to think about quality from day one. Right? It's not the QE, the quality engineers will have to find issues. No, the developer has to think quality when he starts coding and even at the at the time of doing analysis and design. Yeah. So the developer has to challenge that to find any issue in my code. Yeah. So quality should be key and it should be in the mind of everyone involved in the project. And yeah, I am I also believe in Agile we have to do like this. Build test, build test, build test. Like 
It's not like, okay, we have completed the development of the whole product and then it will go to QE for certification. No. Do the small piece, implement the small piece, high value item, get it tested. And again take the small piece, get it tested. Build test, build test, even within the iterations. Yeah. So QAs should not be outside the team. QAs are very much part of the team. Minimum, yeah, so we should have minimum in our mind always. Whenever any requirement is being implemented, ask yourself, ask all the stakeholders, what is minimum? What is really required to go live? We don't have to think about adding more features, doing gold plating. Yeah, we have to do our best to deliver high value items. We don't want to spend time in doing something which is really not adding value. Yeah, continuous improvement, yes, of, co of course we know we need to uh, improve day by day and usually what we used to do earlier in traditional project management, improvements used to happen project after project, if at all any improvements we used to do. But here in Agile, within the project, iteration after iteration we have to improve. Yeah, we, the framework is provided We'll discuss about that in detail in a little, little later in the session. Yes, framework provides us reminders and the practices where we have to go back, think what learnings we can utilize and improve our further goings in the project. Flow. Yeah, so the next slide I'll talk about the flow. I think if you understand this, all engineering guys, if you understand this, I think we would know the crux of Agile and we really get the benefit of Agile. So whenever we have to implement one requirement, yeah, we have to do it end to end. So if we are building a product, it's not like we have to complete one layer of the implementation. Say first we'll have the data access and then the business logic and the UI or any component you pick up. So it should not be like that. It should not be like this way. We identify high value item, small requirement, and do end to end. Do whatever is really required to go live with that, that requirement. And do the minimum of each to achieve that requirement. Yeah. So let me give you an exa uh, another example. So that would probably make it a little easier to understand. Okay, so here, so if we have to do analysis, design, development, and testing, it should not be there in the same order as Waterfall suggests. Yeah, we have to do small things of each 